On November 13th, Gregory and Chase will have an open discussion that might be concerned with Gregory's symptoms and how he's dealing with his impending death. Likewise, Jordan and Dante will come together after Anna calls them to fill them in on some information about Charlotte. Meanwhile, it seems that Nina will become extremely furious down the road, and Michael is most likely the reason behind it. He will continue to force Nina to let Carly have half of her Metro Court back. In any case, Michael will soon get an unpleasant surprise, so maybe he finds out that Ned has regained his memories. That means Eddie is no longer around to stand in Ned's way. And he is now returned to the past. Nonetheless, Ned is finally back, so he is going to pull all his forces on the ELQ. And that might catch Michael off guard. Moreover, Ned and Olivia will finally reunite, and they will enjoy a wonderful night together. However, the next morning he will wake up to a surprise. There is going to be a memory trigger for him when she brings up Nina. He will remember learning of Nina's secrets, so he will accuse her of reporting Drew and Carly to the authorities, for insider trading. He will be eager to clear his name immediately, but he will be stopped by Olivia. She tries to cool him down and advises him not to reveal the truth right now because it would cause a great deal of trouble for many individuals. Later, Yuri, Lois, and Brooklyn will see Ned all groomed up in a great suit and neatly shaved. As a result, looking at his dress and style, Yuri will assume that Ned is finally back. Similarly, Brooklyn and Lois will also be thrilled by the news. He hugs his daughter and apologizes for his actions when he was Eddie. Therefore, there will be a touching reunion between the father-daughter duo. As we know, Lois has been planning with the Brooklyn to bring down Tracy, so it seems that their strategy will be put on hold due to Ned's return. The Quartermain family will have a reason to celebrate now, so keep an eye out.